Hey everybody, Palm Springs Cindy here to say hello and to give a um, have a little chat with all of my YouTube gal pals. I um, I have kind of a very exciting day today that I want to share with you, and I want to share it with you while I do my nails, while I'm using my new system, my gel nail polish kit that I got from Amazon. Now, I've, first I have to file my nails, but I did, I remember I talked to you guys about this my last video. And the next day, my, my nails started chipping. And within a few days, all the nail polish was, I, I just peeled it off. So I had gone, I went to my niece's house, who was the one who turned me on to this. And she said, there is a learning curve. And you know, maybe next time I do it, which is now, <laughs> to pay attention and to um, you know try to just really follow directions. And I do think I messed up the directions last time. So I'm gonna try to be more vigilant. And while I'm doing this, I did, uh, you know that I have a brother that lives at the beach and a sister-in-law that I consider my sister. And so they are doing um, a huge remodel on the, on the beach house. Now their beach house is quite old and it's very charming. And it's sort of a, well, it's not sort of, it's a craftsman style with a nice big patio in the front. Actually a two, it's like a two step patio. The bottom part, you know, is street level basically. And then the top part, where's which is where you go in to go into the door it's a whole separate you know tier on the patio and then they have a, a they have like a one like a five car garage and on top of that five car garage is a, an apartment a, a one like a one one apartment <laughs> it's not an apartment complex just one apartment you know bedroom bathroom living room dining room kitchen and so on And so that's where I stay when I go there. And sometimes I don't, sometimes I stay downstairs. Years ago when their kids were still little, well, they weren't little, but college age, you know, they were still living there. And then, uh, you know, then I used, I could go up in the guest house. But um, once the kids left for college, if there was a slew of us, I would stay in one of the bedrooms downstairs or, you know, wherever there was room. So now they're, uh, they're really tearing things down and fixing things up. So it's gonna be out of commission for about six to nine months. And so it was sort of nostalgic to say that, you know, they had everything, well, not everything, but they were boxing things up and, you know, they're getting things ready to go into storage so that they can start do the tear down of the, of the bottom house. Okay, I'm just about finished filing my nails. And while I was there, of course, my favorite thing to do is to go to Balboa Island, walk around, shop in some of those little boutiques, and uh, that's exactly what we did.
so we're just leaving Balboa Island and I bought some housewares, I'm a sucker for housewares, some really cute things that I'll share with you when, when I get home. Um, I, I tried on these really cute shoes, but they were, mm, I don't know. And I, I look, I said no to a cute purse and to some shoes. And tomorrow there is a massive yard sale here at Babel Island and, and evidently everybody opens their garages and, and and you go up and down the alleyways so I want to save some money for that and um, it starts at 7 30 in the morning so we'll see I, maybe I can uh, take some video of that okay signing off it was cloudy and it did sprinkle a tiny bit but nothing bad and I did buy a few things and I'll share those with you. I bought this little fountain I saw in a little boutique store. I thought it was so cute. And then I'm supposed to put little, it showed how it put rocks like right in here. But listen to the sound. I love it. And I bought this big tray, the one on the bottom. I've been looking for a big tray, black and gold, and I found it at like an, an antique vintage store. I saw these plates, but I'm noticing these little plates don't look, don't look as pretty as they really are in person. And then I bought those pots that I'm gonna put silverware in so when I have company or a buffet, they can help themselves. Home from the beach last Tuesday. Tuesday? Oh yes, and then Wednesday, I had plans to go with some of my bridge girlfriends. I have two bridge groups that I play with. And one of them, we were gonna go with our plus ones. They were going with their husbands. I was gonna go with Eric out to dinner at the clubhouse because Wednesday night is, they have live music and we were gonna have dinner and dance and stuff. Well, Eric has pulled his back out. So he is, he's home miserable. And so I told the gals, you know, I said, I don't really wanna be a third wheel, so I'm, I'm not gonna go. So they, we ended up canceling for another time. And then today was Eric's birthday. He was seven, he's 75 today. And he's still not feeling well, but bless his heart. I, I kept you know saying, you know, well, I hope you're better by Thursday. I hope you're better by your birthday because I've got big plans. I've got a whole day planned. And I did, so, and I'm gonna tell you all about it. So he was like, oh, I'll be better, I'll be better. Well, you know what? I picked him up this morning and he wasn't better. You could tell he was in pain. And so, but he basically, I think he did it for me because he knew I was excited and had made plans. So this is what we did. I've been, I've been really wanting to do this. So near about 20 minutes north of Palm Springs, or even Indio, is um, what we call Desert Hot Springs. And it's a, in fact, I taught school, well, I worked at the middle school for three years in Desert Hot Springs. So I'm familiar with the area. It's a very, it's an older area like Palm, like Palm Springs in Indio, but it's, it is, it has never really developed and it's really kind of, uh, it's, it's, um, the building codes are not good. It's, it's pretty much low income. And because of that, the, um, you know, the, there's a lot of abandoned houses, abandoned this, abandoned that. There are no curbs, there are no sidewalks and lots of tumbleweeds and, and just, it's, it almost looks like a ghost town, to be honest with you. At least we came through the back way into Desert Hot Springs. Now, don't get me wrong. There are a lot of very nice places in Desert Hot Springs, lovely homes. And in fact, there's a nice museum there. There are several schools there, and I did teach in one, the middle school. And there are there are areas, just like any other city, where you know there are nice homes, nice neighborhoods. And it's a perfect place to live and buy if you really want a lot of property. 
And so, you know, I think we passed one place and they had horses and stuff. So, you know, it may be even zoned for horses. At any rate, this is what I'm getting at. In Desert Hot Springs, there are lots of, well, just what the word says. There are natural water springs underneath the ground, under the earth that bubble up. And they're, they're full of sulfur and minerals, just like Palm Springs. The, this whole area has underground water that, then that are that come above ground in little springs and um, you know bodies of water. And what people have done through the years is they build hotels around these mineral springs, and then that's the big attraction. You know, come sit in the mineral springs. It's so healthy, good for your skin, good for your aches and pains, and so on. Well, there are there's this one place in Desert Hot Springs, and you guys can look it up. It's called Two Bunch Palms. And it's a, um, it's like a spa hideaway for like the movie stars and anybody else that can afford it. It's very nice. It's, and everything there is like hidden, you know, it's behind gates or behind trees. So they're kind of hard to see. And, and so two bunch of palms, I wanted to go there. They have these little bungalows and every bungalow has its own little private area, spa area or whatever. And they, they do massages and facials and and the environment is holistic and healthy and, and um, you know, all uh, healthy. Well, that is, I've been wanting to go there like as a treat, but it's just too expensive. Even if you just want to go for the day, like a day pass, or if you want to get a facial or something like that, it's just out, it's just very, very expensive. Okay. So I, but I, through the years, I, and especially after working there, I know that there are other spas with the um, claim to fame of these natural mineral waters. So what I, I went online and I really researched and I fa found this place called, I think it's called Happy House. <laughs> I'm including some pictures that were online, but you, you'll you get the idea that it was a day spa, outdoors, pools, facials, massages, a nice, um, kind of like a snack bar, but with a really good menu, and just a place to go and be private, small, relax, and enjoy the waters. It was definitely not glamorous, but it did the trick. It was like a um, like an old, I'll say an older apartment, apart like one story apartment. Then and then they had natural springs, and they put they made part of it into a pool. Part of it's just natural and sitting over there with tra chairs around it. So I signed up. So I treated Eric for his birthday, and I he had sixty minute, thirty minute was body massage, thirty minute was facial, and I had. Uh, that we were in two separate rooms. And then I had um, something, oh my, you guys, it was the most wonderful treatment I've ever had in my entire life. Cannot wait to get back. It's an hour. And it was, I have very, very bad TMJ. And I, like at night, I clench my jaw. So much so that I know this sounds crazy, but like my jaw will even like at night spring open, like, and then crumbs back down and I bite my tongue or the side of my mouth badly. In fact, I'm recovering from two bites right now. So right now my TMJ is really bad. So I had a, I'm not gonna say this right, but you're gonna know what I mean. It was like a myofossil cranial massage. And she, it was like from here up, back, back here, like in my shoulders, not my throat, but back here up. She spent so much time like on these TMJ muscles. She even put rubber gloves on and went inside my mouth and pressed and massaged these muscles right in here. She said, oh my gosh, you're so, so tight. Well, anyway, it really hurt. When she got into this area right in here and was kneading it and pressing and it, it hurt, but it like hurt so good in a way that I could tell she was I said, oh my gosh, you have you have found the mother load. And so she, you know, she would start real, she'd just start by putting her hands like this. And then she, then it, it, she would press deeper and deeper and deeper until, until finally she was like pressing hard. I mean, you know, with, with some strength. 
and that's how, you know, she'd do my head, just touch it like this, and then she'd press, then her fingers would get tighter, tighter, tighter. She did this thing on my chest, like where, where she did like a head here and then here and pressed. It, it was phenomenal. That's all I have to say. And I cannot wait to go back. I, I'm going to try to go once a week. It was that, it, it was that profound for me anyway. So that was heavenly. And then after we got out of our massage areas, um, then we, we went to the pool. The pool is, is not chlorine water. It's water from this mineral water. I told Harry, I said, I feel like I can float like, like the, the salt and sea where, you know, the salt just lifts you up. The water felt so good. And it, it, just to swim in it was, heavenly so that was wonderful and I swam and I floated you know I got a floaty and I floated and then we had a wonderful we split an old-time grilled cheese sandwich and and a bowl of tomato soup and a little dinner salad had a glass of wine and it was you know sat under the trees after that you know I we both would get back in the pool and and just sit and veg and swim or whatever then we got in the hot pool the like hot jacuzzi pool. And then after that, I said, okay, I'm gonna, you know, after I get out of the hot mineral, the hot pool, jacuzzi, I'm gonna dry off, then I'm I'm ready to go. What about you? So he was like, you, you know, he says, well, you know, whenever you're ready is fine. So, so that's what we did today. And it, well, I just had a blast. I, I was in heaven. Okay, I've, here are my nails. So I'm gonna start with my, with my primer, because that's what it tells me to do, right here. It says, um, well, I don't have to remove the gel because I picked it all off. Okay, here we go. How to use the gel pot. Okay, so here it is, and it's like, start with your um, primer. I think that's what it says. <laughs> I think that's what it says. Okay, let me look here. How to use it. All right, my nails are prepared, and um, yeah, primer. And so here we go. And then it said, remember, um, don't let the primer dry. Let it be, it can be um, a little bit tacky. It has been like 93 here. And this kind of burns, that primer. And we're getting, so I've been at the pool. I've been swimming up at the pool. My golf cart is broken, so I've got to get that fixed. I didn't realize how much I enjoyed that. Well, I kind of did, but every morning up at the clubhouse, they have free coffee. So I could drive up to the clubhouse, get, check my mail, have a cup of coffee, and then take Poppy, and then Poppy would enjoy, they have a big dog bowl of water there. And then we sit out on the patio, have our coffee. I have my coffee. Poppy likes to say hello to everybody. And so she is, when I was at my brother's, base coat. When I was at my brother's, I took her to my niece's because her two little girls, the two little ladies were there, the four and a half and one and a half. And they were crazy about Poppy, and Poppy was crazy about them. Oh, I think I'm supposed to do the, um, yeah, now I do this. I do this for 60 seconds. And there's a 90, 60, 30 second button. So I just press the, see, this is burning my finger now. It's probably because they're so thin from being, you know, having acrylics on for all these years. My goodness. Um, so when I got, I stayed there one afternoon just for a little while. And then, well, anyway, when we got, when I got Poppy back, she has slept for two days solid. I mean, she cannot get enough sleep. So I'm cracking up because I think those little girls wore her out. But her little tail was a wagon. I'll have to share a picture of her before I hang up. Her little tail was a wagon like crazy the whole time she was there. She slept with Kira, the, the four and a half year old. 
And then the mom, my niece, uh, would go in before she went to bed, like at 10, she would go, she'd pick Poppy up, take her outside for her to go potty and then put her back in bed with Kira. Okay, that's done. Now I'm gonna pull, put my, put my color on it. I, last time I did a, it says it's time for color. Last time I did a darker color. I'm, I'm gonna do a really light color. This is my color this time. I can't read the color, so I can't tell you what it is. Maybe in my de uh, details I could tell you. So I'm putting this on. So this is the gel polish. And then after I put this on, I put it under the, the light again. That's, okay, so there you go. And let me see, let me see, see, see. Now it says, I'm supposed to do, I'm supposed to put another coat and then another turn in the light. So here's my second coat. And I'm hoping I'm doing this right. So starting with my foam. You know, this is gonna save me so much headache, so much money. And I can do this whenever I want. You know, like if, if I get a chip or something, no, no problem, I can just redo it. You know, I'm used to getting the gels and then when they put that top coat on, there's some coat they put on and then after that, you know, you could just walk out. Nothing's gonna hurt your nails. They've sealed it, you know, locked and loaded. I've got my right hand under the light and it burns. I've got the primer and the base coat and it is burning. 30 seconds. That, I like that. You know, my hands are so short and stubby. What am I gonna do? Nothing. <laughs> I ain't gonna do one thing. I got short and stubby hands. Yes, I do. <laughs> you guys, I'm making a huge mess. Ay, 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 let me show you this hand. It's terrible. Look at that. Yeah. I'm, oh crap. I'm hoping, now see, I just touched something and that's, I've got to go back and clean up my cuticles. We'll see, if not, I'll just buy regular polish, just a pretty like pinkish clear. Hey, you guys, um, it's getting late and I'm getting kind of ready to go to bed, but I wanted to let you know uh, that this, my nails, it's a big mess. That they're, they're tacky, they're sticky, that they're, they're still not dry. I don't know what's going on, but I don't invest in that um, gel nail kit from Amazon. It's, it's really not good. So I'm going to have to take off. Well, I don't know what I'm going to do. <laughs> Nails are a mess. Oh my gosh. I'm going to try to show you if I can get the, like, look, look at this. Look at that. I want lipstick on that one. So yeah, I'm, uh, like I said, that I'm in front of the television and sometimes it gets light and, and then other times it's dark, but don't, uh, yeah, I would not recommend this nail situation. Okay, just thought I'd check in with you and share share the bad news. <laughs> These are just a few pictures I took while I was walking around Balboa Island. So you get the feeling. It's just a little village area. It's, it's an island with some cute shops and boutique shops and really some merchandise that I have never seen before anywhere else. So that's what makes it so fun. So we're just leaving Balboa Island and I bought some housewares, I'm a sucker for housewares, some really cute things that I'll share with you when, when I get home. Um, I, I tried on these really cute shoes, but they were, I don't know, and I 
I look, I said no to a cute purse and to some shoes. And tomorrow there is a massive yard sale here at Balboa Island. And, and evidently everybody opens their garages and, and, and you go up and down the alleyways. So I want to save some money for that. And um, it starts at 7.30 in the morning, so we'll see. I, maybe I can uh, take some video of that. Okay, signing off. The rest of the video, I'm sharing some pictures I took at some of the um, consignment stores. These, um, they're just so fun to go into. And take a look at all the chandeliers, the different dishes, the different furniture. So they're, they're just so fun to walk around and look at what people are getting rid of, what they've been living with. And there's some just beautiful items, so enjoy.